Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Danny, and this video will be covering this derivative shown on screen. To solve this type of derivative, we have to apply this rule. It's a logarithmic exponential rule. And the reason why we have to apply it is because we introduced this elon term over here. And we're using a term that does not change the overall equation, the value of it. Because you can still cancel this out and you get a to the power b, as you can see over here. So we got to introduce something where it does not change the overall value, but it makes it easier to solve the equation. As you can see, we applied it. And now we apply the power rule. We're going to take that sine term and bring in the front. And that means later we could apply the chain rule, then the product rule. As you can see, we brought this sine term in the front. Now we can apply the chain rule. So we're the first to e. Nothing is going to change. Then we're going to do the rid of sine x and ln x. Okay? So that means we apply the product rule over here, which this is the product rule. Sine is represented f of f of x and ln is represented g of x. As you can see, we're doing the derivatives. And here's the derivatives of um, the ln x, which would be 1 divided by x. And here's the derivative of sine x, which would be cos of x. We write it over here. Then we could reapply the same rule to just remove this line and this e, and that's the power rule over here. So now we apply it, as you can see over here, and that means we could remove this e ln term. We removed it, and this is the final answer to this video. So please leave a like and subscribe, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, great day. So bye, guys.